Today we're going to learn about the membership module in FMB Plus. So in FMB Plus, we actually got the membership management system. So in the customer, you can see there is a member column here. Inside here, there is new application, renewal, replacement, member application setting, and point adjustment. So if you are the first time user for FMB plus go to member application setting so you can see in this member application setting there is actually new application application renewal application replacement you need to set this tree up for this tree function to work okay so now let's say you give for new application you give you the code that says you put it new or any code you like any including number okay so let's say you want to charge a new application fee let's say 100 and per year and the point given to the new application is 10 point and here you can select yearly or monthly and define the year or the month Let's say we put it yearly first. Okay, after you set everything up, you can just save the setting. So in here, you can see there is the setting you save. Okay, so for application renewal, it's the same thing. Give it a code. Let's say I put it AR and also set the fee renewal is 10 ringgit and this point there is no point and also yearly renewal for one year and here there is an extra condition here where uh, if you take this option let's say you set it here 20 means that this customer if he want to carry forward the point that he earned he need to spend at least 20 point from the last year point okay so if you don't want you can untick it okay okay so next for the application replacement this is for the customer who lost their card they need to replace the application so this one also same give it a code okay so this one also the same thing set up the fee and the subscription year or month okay so you save this okay so let's say there is a new customer coming now and he want to sign up for a new application so now you press the new application and select the type you just define just now okay so let's say we just now we create this one okay press ok and in here just fill in the customer detail give it an account and put in the customer name and put in all the detail that you need and save then it will bring you to the payment page for the new application and now you can see the customer got the 10 point for the new application now let's look at the renewal so go to customer renewal 
select the customer so here you can see that the expiry date is 2019 March 31 so if this customer he want to renew select the application type you can see the subtotal is here and the new expiry date is 2020 extend one year so you just save it and here to the payment for renewal and now you can go to customer master find the customer and you can see the new expiry date is 2020 so for the replacement just find the customer select application type replace and this is the current MSR card number that the customer lost so we give it the new one and save it so now here is the payment page for the replacement and the system will prompt you this one is belong to the customer already so let's check So you can see the newest card number is the one that we given just now or the other one is the previous one is terminated let's say customer have some issue with their point you can go to customer point adjustment here you need to give a reason first let's say you can select the predefined reason or you can add a new one okay we select the reason so here we put in remark if any here you can choose between adjustment in or out or actual point so the difference between adjustment in or out or the actual point is that uh, let's say we choose the first one first the customer adjustment in and in or out here you can see that now this customer got 20 point original point so if you adjust the point let's say we put in 10 so the new balance will be 30 this will total up okay so what if you choose the actual point and we select back the same customer okay so here is that you want to key in the actual point that the customer have so original point is 20 let's say we adjust the point to 15 so you can see it will deduct 5 and become 15 so you key in the actual point of the customer okay and you can just save it this is how you use the point adjustment for membership